Gentlemen, boys and girls, may I have your attention please? Because coming to you live from the beautiful on-air media studios in Dallas, Texas, this right is Far Out Fiesta, episode 177, Shake Up at the Lighthouse. Yeah. I am your host and humble narrator, Richard <laughs> Hoting. Yes. Yes. Please give it up for our amazing cast, Kristen Keith. Oh, yeah. You. Rob Hutchbeth. Yeah. And Juliana Briscoe. Yeah. I got a quick question. Okay. Uh, high school. Oh, uh, let, yeah. Let's say uh, your your favorite uh, band when you were in high school, <laughs> or if you have a couple, you can say a couple. You don't have to limit it to one. Favorite band when you were in high school, Kristen? The Smiths. The Smiths. Nice, <clears throat> nice. What about you, Jules? Still are. Mm-hmm. Uh, b- b- something death metal. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Um, the Eagles of death didn't metal. Sound sure. Okay. It was some kind of death metal. I was, big, I was a goth. I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, for me it was Iron Maiden. Yeah. I yeah. was and am still a huge Ramones fan. Oh. Ramones are good. What about you, Jason? <laughs> uh, in high school, it was uh, Pantera. Well, all time. Oh. Local, local boys. Very, very good choices. Very All right, good. cool. All right, far out. Let's fiesta. <clears throat> you. So Nelson the Marmoset has been murdered. Uh, the FOF brass <laughs> is trying to decide how to retool the show if they decide that's a good idea. So Captain Goodfellow and Lupe Lou are considering making Henrietta <clears throat> part of the core cast. Considering? Nelson could never be replaced, but he will. Epo of Brass is holding auditions. But before we go there, there's uh, l- let's recap Nelson's untimely death. Captain Goodfellow, come quick. <laughs> well, Henrietta, you know I always come quick. Fact. What is it, Henrietta? <laughs> Nelson, the marmoset has been murdered. <sighs> he had it coming. The fucker ate the last Pop-Tart. He just took a bite of it and didn't even finish it. He deserved it. What? No, it can't be true. Well, how can we be sure that Nelson is dead? We could look at him. Yeah, if you take one look, you know, that's a dead fucking marmoset. I mean, are, are, are you sure he's not just sleeping? Well, he's riddled with bullets. Marmosets can still sleep when they're riddled with bullets. Oh, it's true. Yeah, I saw it on Nat Geo. He was shot so many times in the neck that his head will fall off completely if you touch it. See? <laughs> yeah, I, I bet marmosets can't live with off heads. Who cares? I've never seen him sleep with his head off before. Nelson the Marmoset has been murdered. Oh, can I have his room? Oh, I mean, uh, poor Nelson. Uh, Bummer about Nelson. I have a date. Laters. And see. All right. Thank you for meeting with me on such short notice. I am a Podcast City bigwig. I'm sorry we had to show you Nelson's death clip again. I'm sure your emotions are all still a little raw. I lived it the first time. What's Mark McGrath uh, skirt I'm doing here? Oh, is that me? Am I, am I Mark McGrath scrotum? I'm talking about the mook in the suit. Well, is that me? Well, it's not the string bean doofus with a face like curdled milk. Huh, yeah, that's me. You know, you know, I was I was a huge fan of Mark McGrath's solo album. D- didn't really care for Sugar Ray. Let's all agree that Nelson's murder cannot be solved. Can we just move on? Uh, that's what I'm here for. I want to help us all move on to Goodfellow after Nelson. Who are you? Uh, Lupe Lou. A uh, question. Since uh, Henrietta's not part of the core cast, can she ask me questions? Uh, fuck no. Lupe Lou! Uh, no, not really. No. Captain Goodfellow? Uh, I'll, I'll ask it for her. Who are you? Uh, my name is Rodney. Think of me as your biggest cheerleader. By weight, height, girth. I mean, how are we defining biggest... Cut the shit, Ronnie. We both know that the show would be better with me in the lead. I'm a pod city, podcast city bigwig. Uh, me and the other podcast city bigwigs are deciding the fate of the show. Cut that shit, Ronnie. We both know the show would be better with me in the lead. Wow, Henrietta. That's a side of you I've never seen before. Well, really? Well, I, th- I thought you'd seen all of me when you... Prototype that robot micro camera that photographed every inch of my body. Oh, well, the three of us can do the show. 
Or, or the two of us. Or the uh, one of us. Th- there's a podcast law that for all sketch-related podcasts... That's what this is? For all children-themed podcasts, there must be at least four cast members. Really? Uh-huh. And there are no lupe loopholes. <laughs> I hate your guts. Uh, the FOF... Big wigs want to find some additional talent who will jive with the show. We need the t- talent to mop up the floor with the other questionable children-themed podcasts in town. And if we don't find that talent, <laughs> let the record show that Rodney pantomimed a slut throat. Uh, yeah, which is a legal contract on Lighthouse Island. Uh, we need a fourth regular character. A fourth regular character to complement the core cast of Lupe Lou and Captain Goodfellow and Henrietta? Why do people keep saying it like that? I tell you what, Henrietta, you can audition to be a part of the core cast. Really? Really. Really? Really. Really? Really. (laughs) Really. And who knows, uh, maybe the show needs a new host. What, really? We're not doing that again. People, this is a mama set crisis. Nelson is dead. 15 seconds of silence. All right, we need to replace him. Stat, let's discuss our, our, our audition process. Then we can do a little brainstorming. Then bring on the talent. Uh, well, well, here's the approach that I'd like to take. Lay it on me. Well, well let's briefly discuss our audition process. Stack. Then we can do a little brainstorming something about talons you see what we got to work with rodney just okay well i I still have i still have to audition to be part of the core cast and i also have to help audition talent talent who could immediately replace you is that so bad to be clear you can be replaced i can't okay how would the pro how would the audition process work rodney uh, did we already establish that Henrietta cannot directly ask me questions? We sure did! Mm-hmm. How will the audition process work? Well, we'll bring in the talent. They will cold read from the sides. Sides of what? Cow? Calf? That's I... not the kind of question a core member, cast member, would ask. Sides are what people in the business call scenes from scripts that have been adapted for audition purposes. Oh, sides. Okay, yeah, I, t- I totally knew what those are. <laughs> um, the uh, talent cold reads from the sides. We'll see everybody and make a decision by the end of the day. I say we have the talents uh, cold read from the sides. Uh, we'll see everybody and make decisions. Something been oil of a lay. Captain Goodfellow, Lupe Lou, is it all right if I include Henrietta in our sidekick brainstorming session? Really? Would you do that for me? Nope. Oh, come on, Lupe Lou. She'll say a bunch of stupid things that will prove she isn't core cast material. I mean, I say we let her hang herself. Uh, so is that a yes? If there's a chance that Henrietta gets hung, I'm in. Uh, so we're spitballing here, and no idea is a bad one. Well, except Henrietta's. I mean, she, she did have the idea to invest in traveling wax museums. Well, people like to see what Wax Ross from Friends looks like in a roadside double wide. So. Lupe Lou, uh, what quality are you looking for in a uh, new partner? Subordinate. Uh, we'll see. I think our new core cast member who's not Henrietta, needs to be a follower. One who doesn't hog the spotlight. All right, someone to worship you as their primary idol? Uh, Well, I mean, yeah, but also good breath is important too. All right, everybody be prepared for this response to suck. Henrietta, (laughs) what do you think is important in a new cast member? Not British. Nelson's accent came and went. No shit. A uh, designated driver, uh, good at talking people down from benders, and pays for their own drugs. We need that. Uh, so, you two are looking for flunky caregivers. 
Yeah. And or potential low-level drug dealers. Nailed it. Uh, what about you, uh, Captain Goodfellow? Uh, pass. You can't pass. Uh, well, well, my suggestions of what I would want in a sidekick will creep out humanity. Now, I cannot imagine that's true. Uh, but what would you look for in a sidekick? Well, it would depend on whether I was looking for a male or female sidekick. Male, we're not adding another woman to the cast. Oh, d uh, does that mean I'm in the cast? All right, Captain Goodfellow, I'm preparing to wince. Mm, you should have let him pass. Well, if it's a new male sidekick, I would look for someone who could retrieve my punts if you catch my drift. What? No. There was no drift to catch. I'd like for a new male sidekick who could tell a lace-up from a loafer. That makes no sense. Um, okay. am, I, what? am I in the... I mean, am I in the court cast now? Uh, Captain Goodfellow, I'd like to give you one more chance to say something intelligible. Good luck. That's a tall order to fill. What would you like... What would you look for in a new male sidekick? A uh, good sense of humor. Smart. Good with children. Bendy. Stop! I uh, posted our audition notice. There are nine candidates in the hall. They're warming up their instruments. I will send the first one in. He may look familiar. You do not look familiar at all. Not one bit. You are a complete stranger to me. I'm the amazing Fred from the FOF Evening News Team. Does anything get canceled on FOF? Uh, the amazing Fred, I, I see that you have your sides. So take a moment, slate, and we'll read the scene with you. The Amazing Fred Strip Mall Casting! I'll be reading from this dove coming out of my sleeve! Ta-da! Uh, stick to the sides. I'm still not clear on good manners that children should... Tabby, look, my finger's coming off. <laughs> I'm still not clear on good manners that children should follow in order to be good children. That's easy, Amazing Fred. I was asking Captain Goodfellow. Putting others first is an important matter for good children to have. Once again, I was asking Captain Goodfellow. That was Captain Goodfellow, now wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it was. <laughs> No, oh, huh? thank you, Captain Goodfellow, Lupe Lu, and our third non core cast member female. Is it me? What is another important manner for good children to have? When meeting people, shake hands and make eye contact. When meeting people, shake hands and make eye contact. And I have sawed your PA completely in half. Ta da! We'll be in touch. Uh, Lachelle. It's Michelle. I, I, I see that you have your sides. Uh, take a moment, slate, and we'll read the scene with you. Michelle. Stripmallonlinecasting.com. Uh, am I supposed to be doing a character or something? I mean, my agent said something about craft services having, having little smokies. <laughs> that stick to the sides. Oh. I, I'm, I'm still not clear on, on which good manners children should follow in order to be good children. That's easy. Insert auditioner's name. Well, I was asking Captain Goodfellow, and that's sexist. Wasn't sexist. Oh, an important manner for good children to have is putting others first. Once again, I was cap asking Captain Goodfellow tw twice in the same episode. Uh, putting others first is an important manner for good children to have. Thank you, Captain Goodfellow, Lupe Lou, and our third non core cast female. Is that me? Not necessarily. She's really good, her Nietta. It's Henrietta. Oh. What is another important manner for good children to have? When meeting people, shake hands and make eye contact. When meeting people, shake hands and make eye contact. Well, I, can, I can do it again. Like a 1940s gangster? We'll be in touch. 
Ronnie, leave. Um, Captain Goodfellow had to step out for a moment. Oh, Traeger, big fan. Well, the only thing I have ever been a big fan of is sports. I see that you have your sides. Take a moment, slate, and we'll read with you. Traeger, talent agents and trampolines. Okay, now my, my agent said something about craft services having little debbies. Stick to the sides. Uh, okay, all right. I'm still not clear on good manners that children should be following in order to be good children. That's easy. Insert auditioner's name. I was asking Captain Goodfellow. Now, the day Traeger gets answers from a woman is the day he buries his own barbed wire wrapped Johnson under a mighty oak tree. Sports! <laughs> An important... An important manner for good children to have is putting others first. Once again, I was asking Captain Goodfellow, sports, not a woman. <laughs> uh, well, 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 putting others first is an important matter for good children to have. Thank you, Captain Goodfellow. Loopy Lou, our third non-corecast female. I'm, sure, I'm still not sure who that is. <laughs> What is another important manner for good children to have? When meeting people, shake hands and make eye contact. When meeting Dumbass. people, shake hands and make eye contact. Well, I'd like to make eye contact with a beer at the Penguins Doubleheader at 2. Sports! We'll be in touch. Nelson the Marmoset? Uh, it's, it's, it's Wilson the Badger. Uh, I see that you have your sides. Uh, we'll take a moment, slate, and we'll read the scene with you. Right. Well, Wilson the Badger, Tater Tots and Casting. Now, my agent said something about craft services having little bites. Let's stick to the sides. All right, I'm still not clear on good manners that tasty human children... Tasty human children? Yes, I have a taste for child flesh. Uh, please stick to the sides. Well, I'm still not clear on what good manners should be following in order to be good children. That's easy. Insert auditioner's name. I was asking Captain Goodfellow. That's though not... I also value your opinion, Lupe Lou. Okay, that's not in the script. Quiet, Henrietta. All right, that grubby little badger cares about my opinion. Well, I mean, I care about anything that might get me into your pants. Gross. Henrietta, keep going. <laughs> okay, an, an important manner for good children to have is putting others first. Uh, once again, I was asking Captain Goodfellow, but I very much value your opinion, Henrietta. More than you value getting into my pants? No, about the same. That's not in the script. Just, you know. <laughs> oh. oh my! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, Putting others first is an important matter for good children to have. Fight you, Captain Goodfellow, Lupe Lou, and our third non cool cast female. Henrietta! My name is Henrietta! You people should know that! What is another important <laughs> manner for good children to have? When meeting people, shake hands and make eye contact. When meeting people, <laughs> shake hands and make eye contact. I'll kill all your enemies. All you have to do is ask. Hmm. We'll be in touch! <laughs> I have to step out for a minute. Uh, <laughs> Coke break for Lupe Lou. All right, I'll tap in. Trina. Oh, I howdy there. I, I see that you have your sides. Take a moment, slate, and we'll read the scene with you. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Trina, casting a Russ. Uh, my agent said uh, something about craft services having uh, little round quiches, uh, eh? Stick to the sides. Oh, okay. Um, I'm still not clear on uh, which good manners children should have in following orders to be a uh, good children, eh? Uh, that's easy. Insert auditioner's name. Uh, I, I was asking Captain Goodfellow, uh, a, a, why should I give a flip about a man's opinion? Uh, not in the script. An important manner for good children to have is putting others first. Is she auditioning to replace me? Once again, I was asking uh, Captain Goodfellow. This uh, flucking script is, you know, pretty sexist here, eh? Uh, putting others first 
is an important matter for good children to have. Well, thank you, Captain Goodfellow. Uh, Loopy Lou, and third uh, non core cast member is, female. Is that me? Um. <clears throat> Not necessarily. She's really good. <laughs> Too good. This audition is over. We'll be in touch. Craig? Uh, it's Craig the Sarcastic Lunchbox. I see that you have your sides. Take a moment, slate, and we'll read the scene with you. Uh, Craig, the sarcastic lunchbox. Lunchboxes are people to agency. Uh, my agent said something about craft services wanting to borrow my thermos. Pfft, like, that's going to happen. You know, you could, like, think of sticking to the sides or something like that, you know, if you wanted to. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I'm still not clear on the good manners that children should be following in order to be good children. Um, that's easy. Insert auditioner's name. Uh, I was asking Captain Goodfellow, but thanks for butting in. Mm. An important manner for good children to have is putting others first. Uh, once again... <sighs> I was asking Captain Goodfellow, uh, had ears long? Putting others first is an important matter for good children to have. Um, yeah, thank you, Captain Goodfellow, Lupe Lou, and our third core cast, non-core cast female. <laughs> is it, is that me? Uh, try using the process of elimination? Uh, we'll be in touch. Oh, will you? Oh, I'll be waiting by my phone. Last auditioner, please. Mercifully, yes. <laughs> All right, I see you have your sides. Take a moment, Slate, and we'll read the scene with you. All right, um, Alex the Sock Monkey, William Morris. Whenever you're ready. All right, I'm still not clear on uh, good manners that children should be following in order to be good children. <laughs> Was that the right page? Am I in the right place? I am no, not. I mean, that, that's a, in 23. That's, all right, I'm here. That's uh, easy. Insert auditioner's name. <laughs> all right. Uh, you're uh, my best friend when you interrupt, Lupe Lou. An important manner for good children to have is putting others first. Yeah, and you're my best friend when you interrupt too, Henrietta. Uh, putting others first is an important manner for good children to have. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Captain Goodfellow, the beautiful genius Lupe Lou, and a uh, Lovely lady with an old soul. Is, is that me? What is another, another important manner for good children to have? When meeting people, shake hands and make eye contact. <laughs> when meeting people, shake hands and make eye contact. Yeah, I can make humans orgasm just by shaking their hands. That's not in the script. Uh, it's the truth. Well, we'll be in touch. No, we won't. He's hired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah, I second that. All right. And welcome to the show, Alex the Sock Monkey. I, I can speak for the entire herd of Podcast City bigwigs when I say I'm excited about this. We got exactly what we need. If I have my way, have it my way, we'll be shooting the pilot in two weeks. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls and feeble adults with very low IQs. <laughs> Welcome to the pilot's episode of Henrietta's Lighthouse. I'd like to go on the record saying that's bullshit. Ship, uh, this is still a kid's show. Uh, Lupe Lou, even if we both seem to have been demoted. Nobody demotes Loopy Lou. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to the Lighthouse crew, and then we'll begin our salute to the letter V. The letter V. Really? You don't see a problem with that. <laughs> what? You, you already met Captain Goodfellow. Good morning. And you have also met the Queen of Snark, Loopy Lou. <laughs> Bitch, I am the Empress of snark. And now, I'd like to introduce our newest Lighthouse cast member, Alex the Sock Monkey. Well, I'm delighted to be here, Henrietta. Oh, those two are so in cahoots. Oh, they sure are. <laughs> Follow my lead. Let's begin our salute to the letter V. And Alex the Sock Monkey, let's begin by listening by, by listening all of the positive V words that, that we can think of. Captain Goodfellow and I will help too. How about you start, Henrietta? 
Vacation. Vase. Violin. <laughs> awesome. uh, my turn. Uh, Vacuify. To produce a vacuum. My turn. Vanji. Device for working the pumps of a ship. Those are some unusual words. I was I was thinking more along the lines of van. Vest. V uh, ventriloquist. Vapulatory. Uh, what's that? Of, like, or pertaining to flogging. Flogging? God, this is a kid's show. Yeah, uh, children should be flogged and not herded. Get control of your show, Henrietta. Uh, veil. Velour. Vepus Vepulicide. <laughs> oh, the killing of a fox? Yep. Uh, that's right. <laughs> oh, I am getting a text. Oh, Henry... Henrietta's lighthouse is canceled effective immediately. I have one more V word. Yeah, I bet you do. Vulviform. Shaped like an oval or a vulva. <laughs> it's, it's strangely appropriate that the last word uttered on my pilot was vulvacentric. <laughs> well, even if I'm fired, I'm keeping the uniform. Wait, let's sh shake my hand, Alex. The, the sock monkey. No, 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 shake mine. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this has been Far Out Fiesta episode 177. Shake up at the lighthouse. I have been your host and number narrator, Richard Hotan. Please give up for our amazing cast, Rob Hutchback, Juliana Briscoe, yeah. and Kristen Keith. Yay, thank you. Anybody uh, working on anything they would like to mention? There is a Kung Fu yeah. festival coming up. <laughs> uh, I think, I can't remember the date. I had it memorized for a second and I forgot it. But if you go to our Facebook page, uh, mm -hmm. it's um, our friends at Texas Horror Cult are putting on a Kung Fu film festival in the not too distant future. So sign up, make a film, and uh, win some cool prizes. Anything else? Anybody? All right. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Yeah.